Hey, Phil Abner here with Video School Online, and I got a question from a student about creating a 3D shape in After Effects. And up until recently, this actually wasn't really possible. In After Effects, you can create 2D shapes and put them in 3D space, but you couldn't really create a 3D layer. What the student wanted to do was create a 3D spiral and actually let's go ahead and take a look at what he had created. So we created this sort of spiral looking effect which is actually pretty awesome uh, just with circle layers and trim paths. But he wants the circles to be connected in 3D space like an actual spiral. And like I said, this wasn't possible up until the recent update of CC 2018. And that allows us to actually edit each individual path point or point on a shape layer individually. So let me show you how to create a 3D spiral and hopefully this will sh kind of blow your mind and open you up to new possibilities with it. So I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm gonna turn off the fill and choose a stroke. So this is the only hard part about this is you, you might need to spend a little bit more time, use the grid to get it to be perfect, but I'm just going to create sort of a very basic spiral. Whoops, something like that, something like that, something like that, something like that, something like that. Okay, so now we have our spiral, very basic, and let's make this a 3D layer. So before, if we add a new camera, what we could do is move this or change this shape, we can move it around or we can use a camera to view it in 3D space. So see, look at cool. Okay, not really cool because it's just a flat spiral. It's not doing anything. Now in CC 2018, we have this new option called create nulls from paths. So that's under your Windows op window option. So turn that on and you get these three options. Right now I'm just gonna do nulls, points follow nulls. So with your shape selected, Actually, I believe we're gonna to have to go into our shape path. So it has all these points selected. Click the points follow nulls. And that creates an individual null for each point of our shape. And each null basically affects that null or that point. Now let's actually change to 3D space so we can kind of see what's happening. So let's turn all these nulls into 3D objects first. And still nothing changes, right? But now if we go into our, let's say, let's take all of our points except for the first null, which for me is number seven, but that's because I was practicing before creating this tutorial. And then press P to bring up your position. And now let's bring up our position for everything. Now let's just option or command click null eight and take the rest and raise them even more. Option click null nine, take the rest, raise them up. And so you can see as I stagger and edit all of these, I'm actually creating a 3D shape right within After Effects, which wasn't able to be done before this update. So now you can add, and let me just finish this, you can add a trim path effect Okay, so we can move our camera around however we want. But let's go back, close all these nulls down, go into our shape layer, add a trim path, and we'll just go from zero to 100. So setting that keyframe for 100 at around two seconds. Now let's play through this. So again, you're gonna have to play around with the speed and the motion of everything and the distance and the curve, but now we have an actual spiral going in 3D space. So that's basically how you create individual nulls for each point and how you can edit each individual point or vertex of your shape in 3D space in After Effects. Thanks for the question, um, Jeffrey, who asked this in the After Effects class. If you're interested in taking my After Effects class, I'll include links down below. And of course, enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any other questions or requests, let me know. Thanks for watching.